Welcome back, everyone. Channel 9 turned 70 years old in just a few days. We first went on the air July 26, 1949, covering news, weather, and of course, sports. One of the best to ever do it sat behind this desk for nearly three decades. No one knows the tri-state sports like Dennis Jansen. From high school football to the diamond at Riverfront Stadium and everything in between, DJ brought the biggest sports moments into your living room. I'm so happy that my friend DJ is here on set. Dennis. Anytime I can share a set with you and Steve Raleigh is a good day, Tanya. Great to see you. It's great to see you. And you were just saying that it was yesterday in 1984 that you started here at WCPO. I was not allowed to be on the air until October we because I, you had, from to 12, right? I had to exhaust the, bank, uh, the balance of a non compete clause with Channel 12. But uh, then I came over and joined John. And I wish John was here. I wanted to congratulate him on 40 years. 40. The only person on the air longer here than John is the Indian on the test pattern, Steve. You know? All right, we got to talk and about John, some of your favorite memories. Se favorite memory was working with John. Well, what a great relationship. He's a, a fantastic, a fantastic yeah. man. But but some of the sports stories, and well, let's talk about John Popovich for a second. Mm -hmm. You two had to do a lot of work together. Yeah, it wasn't it was just great. being next to each other out there. It was next to each other in here too. And we had gotten to the point where. He could look at me and I could look at him and we would know who was expected to pick it up and who the next question was going to come from when we were doing an interview with the, in a group setting. And John was just a consummate professional and I just, uh, uh, I cherished those days together with him. That yeah, was great. These were like the golden years of sports because it's just changed so much with the advent of like ESPN and such. Mm -hmm. You know every single person in sports in Cincinnati. You have a Rolodex the size of the Encyclopedia Britannica. How is it that you always knew how to get in with the crowd? Like, what did you do? You just became friends, right? I did. I associated with these fellows. I would go out and have a beer with them. Shocking. <laughs> I don't think that's any stunner. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I accumulated a great number of wonderfully close friends and associates over the years. Look at that face right look there. At that look at that Ron Burgundy face. mustache. <laughs> Holy smokes. And the yellow jacket. You talk about a cheese ball. All I need is Triscuits hanging off that jacket. Unbelievable. Are there stories that you still look back and go, God, that was great? You know what, Tanya? And uh, I, I, what really bothers me is to see the demise and the deterioration of the print media in Cincinnati. We used to have two papers, they had Cincinnati Post, which right. was of course owned by Scripps Howard and then Cincinnati Inquirer. And it was great to compete against the print people. And when you would break a story that you knew that the print guys didn't have, it was such a kick in the pants. You just loved it because you knew the alarm bells that you had set off in newsrooms, not only at the TV stations and radio stations, but when you, you could... You broke plenty of stories. Well, so it was, give it me was, one example that you loved. Oh, jeez. Um, Take Johnny, ben Johnny Bench's retirement. Really? That, you broke that story? Broke that story, yes. The LPGA Championship was contested up at Kings Island in those days, and the night before the tournament opened, uh, Ted Gregory and Matula Gregory from Montgomery Inn would host a big party at their farm up in Kings Island. And I ran into some people there, uh, some representatives of Johnny's, and we just got to talking about this. And I was told, listen, be on your toes tomorrow. So I made a few more calls and I came back and mentioned it on the air at 11 o'clock. And uh, the rest is history, as they say. Yeah, <clears throat> it was pretty good stuff. It You're was a fun. journalist. And yeah, you love I'm, digging it. My, my dad would accuse me of being nosy. I tried to tell him that I was just curious. Curious, and you know, it paid off for you, DJ. It really did. It paid off for all of us here watching you throughout the oh, years. Oh, no, you're not finishing before I get over here. One question and can see. Okay, what, come on, get right, here, Here's what I always want to know. The wry sense of humor that everybody knows you for, okay? Mm -hmm. The eyebrow up, whatever it may be. Was that a... <laughs> was that a... Um, a development or was that just something that you kind of an evolution of who you were I used to try to be like anybody that I admired in radio or television and finally I had a program director years ago he said listen be yourself that's the easiest that's right. thing for you to be is yeah. be yourself and once I got over that hurdle then it was uh, pretty academic I just um, because I used to sell ladies' shoes. I think that's where it started. I think every... I worked at Ben's right, department store. You and George Clooney. Steve, good so to see you. I love this guy. I love this guy. Uh, I love thank this you, guy. Steve. We have to go. My producer's going to just murder me, but I just want to say this real quickly. You gave me excellent advice when I first started here 28 years ago, and I thank you for always being the greatest. Love you so much. So glad you could be well, here. Well, thank you, Tanya. I appreciate the invitation, and congratulations to everyone here at, at WCPO right. on 70 years of broadcast excellence. And well this done. Thursday, DJ, you should come in and watch it with us. We're going to... 
have an hour long 70th anniversary special starts at seven o'clock. We're going to go back in time, show you how we started here at WCPO, all the big events that we covered along the way. I promise you guys it's going to be worth an hour of your time. You see more of that mustache. Yeah, more Yikes. of that mustache. <laughs> Turning now to our forecast. Who can get more? <laughs> we need more of that.